I'm the Gaming Beaver and this is Hyrule Warriors How to Unlock the Remaining Characters and Weapons which if you've done the full legend mode you haven't got these guys and uh, because there is no guide out there uh, if you've seen the other video you've seen that I've already unlocked all the characters and their weapons and in this video I'm going to show you how to do it so as well as with some tips on how to get there because at the time I recorded this and had to get the items I had no idea where any of them were, so I unlocked a lot of the map when I didn't have to and probably spent almost two days straight just trying to find them. So, of course, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up a map that you'll probably have if you haven't done Adventure Mode. Now here you can just see, well there's nothing, basically. Uh, you can see where, I think the characters are, you can see where Rutu is, where, um, sorry, Princess Rutu, Girihim. Zand and um, Agatha, they're the characters that you will unlock. However, there are quite a few items uh, that you can get only on here. And these ones, you haven't got a clue where to get them. So, I'm going to first take you to the Impa one. The Impa one is, if you just want to pause the video, you can scroll, like count how many tiles across and up it is. So it's this one here, you only need to win. And it's the, nah, it begins with an N. It's like a sword dagger thing. Uh, you can unlock that really easily. It's it's this one, just fight as a warrior of water. It's restricted to her and the prize is there. Now, the next one is gonna be the Link Gauntlets. Now, they're over here. Sorry, yeah, this is the gauntlet actually. Uh, I, w I thought I unlocked it uh, here but it actually restricted me to only using it, and it was like, you don't have that yet. So you, man. <laughs> so this is it. Um, again, you'll need to get an A victory for this one. So that is completing it within 50 minutes, getting over 1,300 kills. Again, this game doesn't tell you it. This is all I, what I've worked out. And damage varies. Damage varies. Usually these ones... Uh, you don't want to take more than a thousand, maybe two thousand, but to be honest, some of them I took over three thousand and I still got an A. So, who knows? Uh, then you want to make your way over to uh, Lana's, which is the gate, that, that sealed gate. Um, and that, I went all the way to the top right because I thought it was this one. As you can see in the top left, A victory is the gate. But again, with the Link one, it's just you need to have it to play. So that sucks. <laughs> I wasted all my time going to the top right of the map. So uh, it is actually here. There it is. And it's, I think this one's quite easy. I've got the A obviously. Um, again, it's, it's quite far up, but that's probably you as far as you want to go north. Uh, you, see, you can see the little zigzaggy lines like that are blocking this way. You see here? They stop you from crossing the path. So if you want to get to Lana's, I would suggest you go up, right, up, 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 then left, left, down, left, up, up, left, left. And that's probably the fastest way you're going to get there. Uh, however, you might not need to travel all that way because there are two weapons that are very, very close together. And we're gonna start from the, the bottom, <laughs> where we usually start, where you'll start, and you go up, left, and you just go all the way to the left. Now, uh, these ones are very tricky. Again, you, you know the paths to get the characters, they're already there. The weapons, however, you don't. The bottom left corner is where it's at. Here, you will unlock with an A-rank victory, Zelda, Zelda's Baton. Now, this one, you will need probably a level 50 Zelda and a good weapon, a good uh, rapier. Uh, it, it took me a long time to do this one. I'm not gonna go into it because it'll take way too long. But to the left of it, one that actually didn't take me too long, you just need to complete. So you don't even need to worry about what you get. And that is the, the fairy, the great fairy actually. I thought it was gonna be a fairy sword. Turns out it's the fairy herself. Uh, and these two weapons are great because they're very close together. And um, that is, I think, all the weapons um, I don't think there's any more. You see, you might be tempted. These, you see, uh, swords with the gold around them, like here. I'm just going to one here. Now, you need to search for that. Now, to search, you click X, obviously. And if there's nothing like that, nothing's showing up, 
you want to get a compass. Now, usually with all of these weapons I've showed you, except for the Battle Victory, if they're A rank, they need a search to find them. Which uh, is a bit of a pain because you don't know what items are good against what. Um, so here, if you would use a compass, it would show you a, one of the bushes that needs burning. Now, the candle burns trees. The bomb blows up walls. That's all it does. It blows up walls. Don't use it on anything else or you're wasted. Water bombs are rocks in the water. A raft, haven't used. You'll not need a raft ever to unlock anything of these. If you want to complete the whole game, you might need a raft, but you won't uh, for these characters and weapons. The same goes for the flute or the recorder. Uh, you don't need that either for, for getting the characters. Uh, you only need at least one water bomb, that's all. I would suggest stocking up on compasses, uh, candles, and um, you will need one hook shot, I think. You need uh, you need the dig, the little, you see the one I'm on right now? That dig, there, that one, at the top of the screen. That dig you will need, and I'll show you what you can use that on. You will use that on, oh, I've already digged that up. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, if we if we do searches, see this one will be a bomb in a boulder in one of those walls somewhere. There's a there's a wall that needs exploding. You will need a compass to find that one. Uh, this one uh, probably a power mitt to move a statue. The same if there's graveyards to the left, you might there's to search for one of them. I think. Uh, oh no, that was okay. So this one I needed a power gauntlet to move the grave to find the stairs. Uh, the ice, you will need the ice arrow to vanquish squares of circles of fire, which is this one. That little circle, you'll need one of those ice arrows to extinguish. Another one you'll find, you'll need a lot, is the harp. The harp, this one, you'll need to use on butterflies. Now, butterflies uh, are not very clear what they are. Uh, you see that rock up there? I guarantee you this will need to be exploded. This rock, you'll need to use a water bomb. I'll use it now just to show you. And there you go. That's, that's unlocked the reward, which is the... It's a fee sword, so... It'll... It won't be any different, it'll just have more attack. That's all that one is. Um... Is there, is there anything else? Yeah, that was a boulder you can see at the top. Sorry, a wall, so use a bomb on that. But that is basically it. That's what you need to do. Again, when I did this, there was no, no search. I, I searched on the internet trying to find. The only one I could find was at the top, at the bottom left. The gauntlet had no idea where it was. The uh, seal gate. Somebody said something about a raft. You do not need a raft for any of this. You do not need a raft. You do not need a flute. Uh, and that's uh, probably going to wrap it up. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, that I need to go over. If you have any questions, put them in the comment of this video. Oh, also, I'll, that's what I was going to I'll give you a tip. There are certain enemies, the trials are easy. If there's a trial one, be thankful because they are so easy to do. Ones that are hard, uh, oh, not that one, they're not hard. Um, there, are, there are some really stupidly hard ones, like uh, you won't ever need to do these. Defeat Ganon and those bosses, that's freaking ridiculous. Uh, that one's ridiculous, you'll not do that. Well, at least I haven't, I tried for ages. But I'll, f I'll find one that I want to show you a good technique because it had me raging for ages and I couldn't, I couldn't work out how to do it. Because uh, it's devastating blows, which means that if you get hit once, you won't get an A rank and because you'll lose all your health. Here we go, watch out, all attacks are devastating. This one, you need to, it's all attacks are devastating for everything, even the things you need to kill. So I'll quickly take you over how to do this one. Um, it was really, really tricky for me because some of the paths that you'll need to open will, will require an A rank. And if you, the only way to do it is to kill them all and get hit zero times. So equip the bow. This is mandatory, and uh, you're going to need to be very careful on these ones, because if you get hit, you'll go down to a quarter of a heart, and I'm not even joking, you'll, you'll lose straight away. So, even these little guys, if they hit you, 
they will kill you instantly. Basically, it's over. Unless if you need an A, it's over. So what you need to do is lock onto the target. As if you keep moving, they shouldn't hit you. And then once you fired, dodge. Just dodge out of the way. Then uh, get close to another one. If you if you keep minding yourself, just dodge, dodge all the time. Make sure you're in an open space so none of them can get you. Make sure you got your targets locked on like that. That's that's scary. <laughs> And then uh, some of them, there is one that requires you to kill 30 of them. This one's quite an easy one. And the enemies, the little enemies, don't go away. So you'll have to fight your way tooth and nail just to get through. So I'll quickly show you how to do this. But this is basically it. Uh, they're the only... Apart from the ones to unlock the, the weapons on, these are the hardest you'll come across. And if you, especially if you get stunned, there'll be different enemies. They're not always re-deads. Watch out for the little guys. Sometimes the bow isn't long enough, so you need to get really close. But as soon as you're fired, as soon as you fire that arrow, dodge. Because there's a chance that someone's just about to hit you. And if you're dodging, you're invincible. If you can, line them up. Line them up, and you should be able to kill a lot of them. And there you go. That's how you do it. You could try to attack if you really wanted, but the chances are you're going to get hit. Especially uh, the shield moblins, the big fat ones that belly flop, they'll kill you. You, you. The only way I found to do this and unlock the characters successfully was if you come across these ones, equip the bow and you'll be fine. So hopefully that should clear everything up. You shouldn't have a problem. I've given you the locations of them. Uh, that one is the only one that I really need to guide you on. The other ones are kind of, you guessed it, you're okay. Um, you might want to go to the training dojo. I'll show you the level of the characters that I've got to get through. So, just to give you a perspective of what you might need. So, here, Link is level 60. He's probably the strongest. Uh, the Master Sword is the... If you've done the Legend, use the Master Sword. If you've got time, try to unlock a, uh, a rank because the Master Sword isn't the best one. So far, I found this one, which is the 8-bit wooden sword. Uh, that one, the 336 attack, I don't, sometimes I think the Master Sword's better for some odd reason. Uh, again, uh, Zelda, you'll need her good rank to unlock, uh, her, her weapon, maybe 40's good enough, I think 40's good enough. Ganondorf, uh, I'm not too sure if you need him at that high level, because I was doing some levels that I didn't realise I didn't need to do, and I needed him very high. Uh, you don't really need to upgrade these guys except for uh, Zant and Girahim because some of them have level restrict restricted weapons. Uh, level restricted levels, damn it! Uh, so they're kind of like restricted to themselves. Character restricted. What the hell am I saying? Lana is quite high, uh, and of course you can tell I haven't leveled up Sheikah Tor because there's very few levels that need her, if any, at all. So level up Link. High chance that he's, you can just use him for everything. He's your go-to guy. He has good combos. Um, I'll, sh I'll tell you what, I'll quickly go into a level uh, that's kill so many enemies within a certain amount of time. So there's 300 enemies. If you're struggling with this, I'll show you how to quickly get through it as fast as possible. There is a combo with Link you can do and it obliterates everything. Especially if there's a high level and you have the Master Sword. I suggest before doing this, you're going to need to do adventure because you'll need certain characters to get through. So this is the combo you'll need to do the most of. Uh, with these ones, the new hordes of enemies will appear every time you get 100 kills. So don't bother killing these guys if you don't need to. Okay, here's the combo you need to do. Now it's, e it's Y, 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 X. So you go one, two, three, four. Y, Y, Y. Sorry, it's 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 four Y's and an X. And if you do that, you can just run through them all. So Y, 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 X, 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 X. Just keep clicking that X. Just keep going for it. You can see I've killed 78 so far. We're okay. I'm not going to bother because this one I'm going to get more kills out of. You can start it early so uh, he won't have a chance to block. And then there you go. Also... Big bosses might show up to try to slow you down. So I tell you what to do with big bosses? Ignore them. If you can, ignore them. There's one with a Goma uh, that's in a in a Skyward Sword level. 
and he, he chases after you really fast and eventually three of them show up but try your best to ignore him just uh, not that combo <laughs> do the the 4y combo which is this one and just run through the enemy like this you'll instantly kill most of them and that'll be it just as soon as you've killed the majority in that section move on to the next one do the same combo again just keep going rack up when you get to 200 you'll watch when I get to 200 they'll pop up again so I'll quickly kill six more here and some more will pop up there you go see more have just appeared on the map and so don't worry about killing killing the big pose or the sort of boss that comes the mini boss that comes with them if you if that's how you want to see it just focus on killing the little guys uh, you can kill the big guys if you want they only count to one if you need materials you can go for that but honestly this is what you want to do just go through just keep doing that combo go around in circles if you're not sure where they are avoid the big bosses that appear every 200 i think it is some of them require you to do about 800 kills but you'll be all right. See, look at that. I've got plenty of time. I think this one relies on damage taking and taken, and sometimes you'll need um, an A rank. So you want to do it as fast as you can within the time limit. Don't take much damage, and you'll be golden again. There you go, sorted. And I hope I hope this video has helped you. Helped you because when I did this, there was no guide. There was nothing on the internet. Nobody told me what to do, where to go, where the items were. And hopefully this is sorted out for you. <laughs> so, until next time. Uh, this is probably going to be the last episode of Hyrule Warriors, I do. Uh, but if you want to check out all the characters, all the weapons, and most of the combos and specials, it's in a video that should be in this series or on the channel. Just type it in, Hyrule Warriors, all characters, all special, all combos, whatever. It should come up. There's nothing on YouTube right now for it, so you can find it. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!